Greetings, welcome to another episode of Man Cave Meals. Today we're going to get started on a project that's been requested many times here and we're going to make some pastrami. So this is going to be a two-part video series and this is going to be part one where we're going to prep the brisket and uh, cure it. The curing process takes seven days so we're going to prep it today and cook it next weekend. So let's get started. Okay, I've got a six pound brisket flat here that we're going to use to make this pastrami. I have taken it out of the cryovac, I have rinsed it, and I have trimmed some of the excess fat from the fat cap side. Uh, I'm going to leave a little bit, uh, but I did take a good bit of it off. So we're going to get started on this guy. The first thing I'm going to do is take a knife and we're going to pierce the top of it at about one inch intervals to help our cure uh, get all the way into the meat. Okay after I finish piercing we're going to sprinkle our curing salt on and the best thing to use for this is Morton Tender Quick but I was unable to find that so I had to make some out of pickling salt, pink salt, and sugar and the uh, a measurement you want to use on this is about one tablespoon per pound so I'm going to spread that all over the top of this brisket and rub it in and we're going to put a little bit more on. I will give you the recipe for this cure in the uh, video description. But we're going to prepare that and just rub it in. And then we'll start putting our, our seasonings on. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is shake on a little paprika. And once again, I'm not measuring any of this, just putting it on by look and feel. Onion powder. A little garlic powder. A little freshly ground black pepper. and then a little freshly ground coriander on top of that and then we're just gonna pat that down pat it down into the surface where it sticks very well and now we're gonna let this sit for a few minutes to let that bind and then we're gonna flip it over and repeat the process on the other side Okay, now that our brisket is prepped, the next step is to put it in a uh, Ziploc bag, or in my case, I'm going to put it in a food saver bag and seal it up, and we'll get started on that and be right back. Okay, we're going to put our vacuum seal bag in here and let it seal up. And if you're using a regular Ziploc bag, you're going to want to press out as much of the air as you can. And in a Ziploc bag also, you put it back in your refrigerator now for seven days. And every day as you walk by the refrigerator, once a day or so, you're going to want to flip the bag over to let this marinate. So uh, we're going to put this in the refrigerator and let it go for seven days. And then we'll be back uh, for part two and we'll cook this. Until next time, Man Cave Meals.